Michael Rady dispels Meg's Hollywood delusion by denying her plea for a special role in Unexpected Grace. The starting points of Meghan Markle and Michael Ray's career trajectories are vastly different. The Duchess of Sussex got little screen time when she played a nurse on two episodes of General Hospital in 2002. Rady, meanwhile, kicked off his career with a much larger role in the 2005 dramedy The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. In the enduring classic, he plays Costas, the love interest of Alex Bledel's character, Lena. But now that Rady was a Hallmark celebrity, by the time Meghan was crowned the Duchess of Sussex, everything changed. Additionally, he had roles in many television shows and a low-budget film that just so happened to have Meghan as a supporting character. Meghan, who just obtained a deal with the entertainment organization at WME, which specializes in the PR of stars, particularly artists of many areas, tried to contact him once more later. In order for her to shine and simply return to acting, he will have to provide her with the distinctive and special role in Unexpected Grace, according to a source, who also claims that Megan has persuaded him to join the WME roster with her. Additionally, Megan told him that she planned to divorce the red-haired prince and that she was seeking real love. She said that they are now apart and that they are both present due to work. Because of this, Harry was at a polo match in San Francisco instead of Archie's birthday celebration. Naturally, he categorically declined since he was aware that Meghan Markle was only using him to realize her Hollywood fantasy. Ahead of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's 2018 wedding, a 2013 rom-com starring Meghan was re-released in the UK. The film, Random Encounters, also stars Michael Rady and Abby Wathen as Kevin and Laura, two people who feel an instant connection after it, you guessed it, Random Encounter. They spend the rest of the movie trying to reconnect while knowing almost nothing about each other. Megan plays Mindy, Laura's close friend and roommate. She's a queen of the party scene and a certified player who acts as her bestie's wingwoman. After having a random encounter of their own, Mindy and Kevin wake up in bed together. However, Kevin can't stop thinking about the mystery woman who has a hold on his heart and whose room is just down the hall, making Mindy yawn as she's in the process of removing his pants. Rady spoke about the movie in a 2019 Media Village interview. That's my biggest claim to fame and biggest contribution to the globe. There was a pretty sensual scene that I now found hilarious. While Rady didn't get to know Megan very well during their brief time working together, he said she was so sweet and lovely. Watching the circus that surrounds her now was interesting. Rady also noted that Megan scored a prominent spot on the movie's cover when it was re-released. Her head is the size of Rady and Wathen's entire upper body is. Here are a few similarities between Meghan Markle and Michael Rady's resumes. They have both appeared on episodes of Castle and CSI New York, and they're both Hallmark Channel alums. Megan starred in two of the Feel Good Network's films, When Sparks Fly and Dater's Handbook, while Rady is one of its most in-demand leading men. His Hallmark credits include Christmas Bow, Two Turtle Doves, You're Baking Me Crazy, and Christmas in Homestead. In 2023, Rady explained to Media Village what he finds so appealing about filming Hallmark movies. Quote, you're working with good people, and the fans are so effusive and wonderful, he said. Megan also praised the network in an interview for the Hallmark Channel website. It keeps it really light and easy and makes everybody feel good. At the end of a long day, that's what I want to watch. Megan and Rady have something in common besides their acting careers, though. In an interview with phillyburbs.com, Rady revealed that one of his favorite hobbies is calligraphy, and Megan told Esquire that she actually worked as a freelance calligrapher before she began making enough money from acting to pay the bills. If Megan ever returns to acting, there is the hoping that she and Rady co-star in another Hallmark movie about a small-town calligrapher whose business is threatened by a greeting card conglomerate until it helps Overworked CEO rediscover her love of handwriting thank-you notes.